So you might be trying to figure out if you can actually transfer music from your files application on your iPhone to your music application to your Apple Music. Now, unfortunately, there's not a direct way of doing this, but there's another way you can kind of going about doing this. You will need a computer, but it, let's say you had some sort of app, you know music inside of your files application. Well, you will need a MacBook or a PC. You will have to have like a wired connection. There might be some wires, you know, wireless ways of doing it too, but for the most part, you'll need your iPhone and a MacBook that can connect to, you know, the files application or the iTunes app if you have it on a PC. So to start off, what you're going to want to do is you want to go and send yourself that file, that music file, whatever it is from your particular iPhone to your particular, you know, Mac. So what you're going to want to do here is find that file. I don't even know where this file is. So I'll just go and download something. So I literally just went through and downloaded this random song. So what I can do is I can hold this song down, click share, and I can go and share it to myself via this Mac. So I've just sent it over to my other Mac. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and plug in my particular Mac to my particular iPhone. So as you can see, I just now connected my particular iPhone to my Mac. If you get this little pop-up on your iPhone, you want to go and click trust. So all you want to do is trust your iPhone to here. Now it says software updates available, whatever. You don't even have to update, so you can just click not now. Now on the right side, if you open up the files application, or if you go into iTunes on your particular Windows PC, you should be able to see your iPhone right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new window. I'm going to go and click on this particular, my iPhone right here. Now I'm going to go and click trust because I want to trust my iPhone here. So it's going to take a second for basically everything to load up. I really don't have that much information, so it should load up like fairly fast. And so now you come into this panel. Now if it's updated in the future, it may look a little different. But now what you can do is you can tap on music and this music panel should come up. Now it looks like, you know, you can enable sync music with Sims iPhone, whatever it is. So you can go and do entire music library or you can do selected library if you want to. So now what you can do is once everything here looks good, you can scroll down right here and you should be able to go ahead and drag and drop your music or your song that you just had from the bottom of here all the way up into this particular panel. So you can just grab this right here and you can just drag and drop it right into here. It can take a little bit of time for it to go and actually pull up, but that's really all you're going to have to do. Then you can go and click on apply. And after a little bit of time, you should be able to see those particular songs be populated right here. And then you can tap on the sync button right here and you should be able to sync your songs directly to it. Now it can take, like I said, a couple of moments. It can take a little bit of time. And then if you go and make your way over to your particular Apple Music application, you should be able to see that now you do have that song that comes up right here under recently added. So you can see that if I go and play this song here, it will show up normally as I do right here. And that's really it. It really is that basic. So now, like I said before, all those songs that you've had before will now show up within here. Then you can do this with an unlimited amount of songs. So. That's basically how to do it. All those songs from your files app will now be inside of your particular Apple Music. Again, you'll need a MacBook, but that's basically how it works. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.